Let's see if anything new is happening at these pavilions. Welcome everyone. And looks like they may have stocked a little bit since the last time I was here. Yeah, they definitely did. Definitely did. I knew they would, the pigs were super low. And you know, tomorrow's Easter.
What up, everybody? Today, we are going to crack open a couple F case 2023 976FJS. Good look at both of these cases. And to both be the same codes. I don't know if that means anything, but let's crack them open and see what we got. I believe F case is the Renault Super. Oops. I'm just gonna start hanging these up for you. Get a good look at each one of them. There's the treasure hunt right there. If you can see, nothing that I really plan on collecting. I kind of give up on getting all of the regular treasure hunts. I'm trying to look for the the symbol. I don't see where it's at. Oh well, moving on. Uh, <laughs> somebody comment down below where it's at and then next time I see one I'll check it out. There's a gasser right there. Oh, wow. beautiful looking stingray in the blue. It is nice, very nice, and a very cool Honda Civic Custom, and then we've got a mainline Renault right there. All right, carryover from the E case, Nissan Patrol Custom. Fantasies, the color of the little cart. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Just shove it right through the cart. Who cares? <laughs> Very good looking Pagani Waira Roadster. Love the blue paint job on that one. Stock Thunderbird um, Porsche Corvette Roadster Copo Camaro three looking good looking white cars right there. I have everything I need for this case. Um, I did find the super actually yesterday. So um Probably will be leaving everything unless there is a super. I might take another gold um, Sylvia. There's two of them, so yeah, I'll take one. This might be two per case. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'll take one of those. And I'll put this one right there. Hands. Very cool looking Lotus. I saw that I think in the previous case. Trying to hurry through this one. We'll get through the next case. Cool Bentley. That will be all. There's the Magnus Walker Porsche. It's super nice. Really nice. I'm going to leave that one for somebody that really wants to collect. Hopefully, you know, a scalper comes through here first and takes off everything. But, um, you know, I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take them. Recolor of the Subaru WRX STI. It's 
cool. Let's see where I got. There's tons of space. It's just real spread out here. All right, well, that's case number one. Oops. It's missing a J hook. be a dud too because there's a main line all right well we'll get through this real fast and keep you keep the footage rolling and we'll see what we find no expecting any supers it's funny that the, um, the main lines have been on top though both main lines are on top Maybe the bottom layer holds something special. It's kind of crisscrossing pegs there. I like the blue, I like the blue. to the bottom layer now. Let's see. Mm, no. Only one gold Sylvia and this one. So, all right, well, that's gonna do it. Catch y'all the next one, peace.
here and looking at all these model cars and stuff. It's always cool to see. It's a larger scale M2. And here we got some 164 stuff and some more larger scale 124. a 1977 Datsun pickup. Pretty cool. Cool VW. Single cab truck. It's really cool. We gotta go Turtle Wax VW delivery van. I'm gonna hit my buddy up to see if he needs any more K5 Blazer. He's a big Chevy guy. Cool too. All right, hot hatches, Volkswagen Rabbit MK1, and Fort Cosworth back there. It's cool. Bunch of cool stuff. Clue Mustang, some Majorettes, dress trucks. Auto World. I always have a hard time timing Hobby Lobbies. Never found any chases or, I mean, really, I may have had some fresh looks. I don't know if I've ever been first per se. Oh no, somebody stole the K10. Oh man, and it's stapled back on. How does that happen? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh wow. So, it's the first time I've seen, as I drop it, almost. It's the first time I've seen these in the wild. Definitely pretty cool. Something that I would definitely picked up, would have picked up my earlier collecting days, but now I just, I'm being a little bit more selective. This is something that I would, I do plan on like collecting more premium models as far as, um, as opposed to Hot Wheel main lines. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna let, let these, oh, there's another one too. I'm gonna let these stay behind. Some cool lifts. Yeah. Wow, look at this 510. It's pretty cool. Shout out to Dots and Man Diecast. Alright, that's it, guys. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. For tuning in. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.